In the cosmic dance of creation and destruction amidst the echoes of ancient chants and the fragrance of sacred incense stands a deity unlike any other, Lord Shiva. With matted locks adorned with the crescent moon and a third eye that sees beyond the veil of reality, Lord Shiva embodies the paradoxes of existence itself. Join us on an ethereal journey through the myths and mysteries surrounding this enigmatic god, where time stands still and the universe pulsates with divine energy. Shiva holds a pivotal position in the Holy Trinity. While Lord Brahma plays the role of creator and Lord Vishnu plays the role of the preserver, Lord Shiva is essentially the destroyer. Together these three lords symbolize nature's rules. The birth of these three gods is a great mystery in itself. Many believe that Lord Shiva is a Siambu, which means he was born automatically. However, stories also suggest that this mighty lord was created thanks to an argument between Lord Brahma and Lord Vishnu. According to Purans, both these lords were arguing with one another as to who was superior. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a blazing pillar appeared before them. The top and the root of the pillar were invisible and both the gods heard an oracle that asked them to compete with one another. They both had to find the start and end of the blazing pillar. To find this answer, Lord Brahma immediately transformed himself into a goose and flew upwards to find the top. Simultaneously, Lord Vishnu converted himself into a boar and dug deep into earth to find the end of the pillar. Both tried tirelessly but couldn't locate the top or the end. When they both gave up, they found God Shiva waiting for them. Shiva is also known as the destroyer or transformer. The deeper symbolism is that we can overcome our inner demons and embrace the shadow within through self-awareness, self-awakening, and self-control. Shiva has a third eye on the forehead. This represents the deeper meaning is the awakening of consciousness. Opening the third eye allows us to access higher levels of wisdom and consciousness. The snake around Lord Shiva's neck called Vasaki represents the ego. When we master our ego, it becomes like an ornament which we wear, a prized asset which defines who we are. When left untamed, like a snake the ego can bite and harm us. Also, the snake is coiled three times around the neck of Shiva. This represents the three forms of time, past, present, and future that we transition through. Trishal, the trident, is the weapon of Shiva. This spear has three prongs which represent three powers as well as three states. The three powers are will, knowledge, and action. These powers when aligned help us achieve our goals. The three states are actually states of consciousness, waking, dreaming, and sleeping, which we experience as human beings. The moon on Shiva's locks of hair represents a mind which is at peace. It depicts that when our mind is calm and clear like the moon, we are able to achieve inner peace, self-discipline, and great achievements. In essence, it stands for being the master of one's own mind. The Ganga River flows from Shiva's head. Ganga represents a river of purity as well as the river which brings life. The deeper symbolism is that of flow, flow of energy, flow of knowledge, flow of purity. It means we can access flow in our everyday life, like a river flows with changes, with time and with energy. The drum attached to the trident is called Damrur. It represents the cosmic sound energy, the power of words and mantras which create impact around us through beats, rhythm and vibes. Sound is energy in waves. The deeper meaning is how we can raise our inner vibrations much like sound waves. Shiva has a powerful mantra which people recite. Om Nama Shivaya. Om being the first vibration of the universe. Nama means to bow. This mantra is a passage to know and understand ourselves, to dedicate time to our inner self and our deepest nature. The deeper meaning of this mantra is simply, I bow to my inner self. As an ascetic, Shiva's body is smeared with ashes. It symbolizes the ultimate truth that death is a reality which we will all experience. The ashes reminds us to stay grounded and humble while accepting the cycle of life and death. Shiva wears only a tiger skin as clothes. It symbolizes courage as well as detachment from material things. The deeper meaning is about one's inner power, the tiger being a metaphor for inner strength, power, and resilience. Beads also known as Radraksh which Shiva wears around his hands and neck like a rosary. Made from dried seeds, these are sacred beads which stand for purity and concentration. It symbolizes how we can sanctify the mind through meditative practices. The story behind Shiva's blue throat. Also known by the name of Nilkantha, Shiva got the blue neck after drinking the poison, Halahala, during the churning of ocean, Samudra Manthan, to get the elixir of life, Amrit. 
The legend says that during Samuthra Manthan, the ocean of the milk was being churned by the Devas and Asuras. The first thing to appear was a dark sticky foam, the poison Hala Hala that had the power to destroy the universe. Soon, its fumes started to spread in the air and water. Shiva drank it to save the world. Goddess Parvati caught hold of his neck to prevent the poison from entering his body and so it remained in his throat making it blue-colored. Lord Shiva is also called Trilochan as he has three eyes. There is an interesting story behind the third eye of Lord Shiva. One day when Shiva was meditating, his consort Parvati thought of playing a game with him. She came from behind and closed his eyes with both her hands. It is believed that the right eye of Shiva represents the sun and the left eye represents the moon. Closing his eyes led to chaos everywhere as the universe sunk into darkness. Immediately, Shiva created the third eye on his forehead with his divine powers to emit fire. Also, the heat from the fire caused Parvati's hands to perspire. The sweat, combined with the powers of both Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati, transformed into their child named Antaka. The Story of Shiva and His Association with the Bull Nandi The story goes like this, Surabi, the original mother of all the cows, began to give birth to a lot of cows. The milk from all these cows flooded the home of Shiva. Angry at this disturbance to his meditation, the god struck the cows with fire from his third eye. Seeing this, the other gods sought to calm Shiva down by offering him a magnificent bull, Nandi, the son of Surabi and Kasyapa, which he accepted and rode. Nandi also became the protector of all animals. Many devotees worship Lord Shiva with utmost reverence and devotion. The Maha Shivaratri festival dedicated to him is celebrated with great enthusiasm in various parts of the world. During this auspicious occasion, devotees engage in fasting, prayer, meditation, and offer flowers, fruits, and milk to seek blessings and divine grace. Lord Shiva's significance extends beyond religious boundaries. He embodies qualities such as compassion, strength, and inner peace, inspiring individuals to cultivate these virtues in their lives. Many seekers of truth and spiritual seekers find solace and guidance in his divine presence, seeking his blessings to overcome challenges, attain spiritual enlightenment, and find inner balance. Lord Shiva represents the timeless wisdom, transformative power, and spiritual depth that exists within every being. His divine presence serves as a guiding light, leading us towards self-realization, inner peace, and a deeper understanding of the cosmic mysteries. As we seek his blessings and embrace his teachings, may we find strength, wisdom, and enlightenment on our own spiritual journey. Om Namah Shivaya.